Now, despite the exit polls predicting a tight race and some even giving a slight edge to the Indian National Congress, the BJP went on to secure decisive leads in the three out of the four states. In the assembly polls on Sunday, BJP, which is the ruling party at the center, has almost sealed a huge victory in Madhya Pradesh. It is replacing the Congress in Rajasthan and is set to replace it in the tribal state of Chhattisgarh as well. Now, live trends indicate that the BJP has extended its dominance in the Hindi-speaking states. Thereby, it has significantly improved its prospects for the upcoming general elections that is slated for next year. So what has exactly worked for BJP? Let's try and decode. In the run-up to the elections, the major rivals pulled out their big guns for the campaigning. Heavyweights from the BJP and Congress shouldered the campaigning in all four states. For the Congress, it was Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi Vadra. For the BJP, it was their biggest crowd puller, which is obviously the Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself. If you look at the numbers now, in the last few days of campaigning, Prime Minister Modi along with Home Minister Amit Shah addressed as many as 108 rallies and held road shows in all the poll-bound states. Modi himself held 42 public rallies for the BJP. He led four big road shows between November 2nd and November 27th. Most of the Prime Minister's appearances were in the states of Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan. And his efforts clearly impacted the election results in these places. As per the videos shared on the Prime Minister Modi's YouTube channel, in Rajasthan, Modi made 16 public appearances and 15 public appearances in Madhya Pradesh. Now take a look at the BJP's performance in the areas the Prime Minister visited. If we talk about Madhya Pradesh, where BJP is headed for a massive win, Prime Minister Modi held rallies in 15 constituencies. And as of now, BJP candidates are in a clear lead in 12 of these states. 12! of the 15. Now in Rajasthan as well, candidates are leading in a majority of the seats that Prime Minister Modi campaigned. So it appears that the Modi factor has also worked for the state polls. Big leaders from the state are thanking Prime Minister Narendra Modi for leading the campaign. Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister Shivrat Chauhan has credited Modi for the big lead. Meanwhile, big work for campaigning has also done was also done by the major opponent Congress. Leader Rahul Gandhi made at least 41 public appearances in all four poll-bound states combined based on his YouTube channel, we are saying this, while the number is 29 for Priyanka Gandhi Vadra. Other big party leaders also descended on states for the high-stake battle. However, the trends unfolding are a big blow to the party which is trying to take on BJP. Modi's popularity is appearing to be a key hurdle for Congress and ex is expected to do so even in next year's election. Now in India, the Narendra Modi-led Bharatiya Janata Party is on course to register massive victories in three of India's key states that went to polls last month. But its main rival, the Indian National Congress, seems to have made some crucial gains in southern India, which remains a challenge for the BJP. So it's good news for Congress. Leads so far show that the Congress party has been voted out of power in the states of Rajasthan and Chhattisgarh. Its footprint has been considerably reduced in Madhya Pradesh. But the party has managed to find a silver lining in the southern state of Telangana, which includes the cyber hub Hyderabad where it seems likely to form the government. The five state assembly elections held last month are being seen as the semi-finals ahead of the national elections that will be held next year. However, experts keep saying that this cannot be the utmost litmus test for next year's general election because the trends change, issues change and national polls just work differently than the state polls. Now, apart from Telangana, the Congress is in power in another South Indian state of Karnataka that it won held earlier this year. With the current victory in Telangana, the Congress has further consolidated its position in southern India. Two other southern Indian states of Tamil Nadu and Kerala are already ruled by parties that are in alliance with the Congress at the national level, which is the India Alliance. 
The last South Indian state of Andhra Pradesh is ruled by a regional party that often backs the BJP. The southern states are crucial for national polls. Out of the 543 seats in the lower house of Indian parliament, these states return 129 lawmakers in total. If the inroads made in state assembly polls sustain till the general elections, the Congress-led alliance could be in a stronger position in the national elections.